Alright, Shalom, Shalom. This is Amma Wan from Jacksonville, Florida, coming at you guys with another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Aqua, to the children also. But before I want to get, get into it, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shah. Ka Hala Yulah, Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shah, by Hashim, Hara Kwa Kodash Mahamah. And I'm going to do a double honors to the apostles of the, gym, of the, Shulaki, the apostles and the elders of GMS. And the brothers that's pushing the truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. I also want to do a double honors to the elders and the Akim of the Lions, the camp of Yasha Allah in Jacksonville, Florida also. All right. So, um, basically, I was going into a lesson of, of getting knowledge and understanding, you know, what we have it now. Because we are in a, in, a, in a times of famine, all right. We are in a times of meat shortages, uh, plagues, um, you know, diseases or whatnot. So it also it's, it's also going to be a time where we're going to be going into where it's going to be a famine of the word, all right. So that's why I was pulling out you know the scripture, you know, because. Because you know we need we need these words to retain. We need these words to live um, throughout these times, man. It's just the only thing that's gonna keep us keep us sane, man. And keep us having that sound mind in the times of trouble. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. This is Proverbs chapter four, verse one. It says, "Here, ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding." For I give you good doctrine. Forsake you not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only, beloved in the sight of my mother. It says, he, he taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. And it says, get un it says, Shalaki, it says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. All right. So with that being said, the Most High he said, with all that getting, get wisdom and get understanding. All right. It says, forget not the law, forget not His commandments. It says, forget, forget, forget not the wisdom. You know, neither decline the words, man. So it says, retain. Retain means to keep. You know, keep His words. Because this is going to be the knowledge and the stability that times to come, right? Get the real, the real wisdom, the real understanding, the real knowledge. That's why I always tell people, you know, the, when you pray, when you pray to the Most High, ask for knowledge, un, you know, knowledge, understanding, the wisdom, 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 knowledge, and understanding the wisdom. You know, because that's going to help you. You know, for for these times to come, that's gonna help you to get salvation, man. And that's also gonna help you, you know, so you won't, you know, bug out when when those times really do come, when Jacob's trouble really hit the fan, you know. Verse six, it says, "Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee." Con, so forsake her not. So if you don't forsake her, she's gonna preserve thee, all right. And she she's gonna keep you. You know, keep you under that under that covering, all right. Preserve. You know when that when that you know when 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 Jacob's trouble really you know pop off for real, for real, man. You know the Most High said he's gonna he said he's not gonna forsake us, all right. He said he's gonna he said he's gonna keep us under his wing, the ones that he loved, the ones that 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 love him. Verse seven it says, "Wisdom is the principal thing; therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding." All right. So with all that getting, get understanding. You know, you can get wisdom and knowledge as much as you want. All right, because you can get wisdom, and you can get knowledge. All right, but you have to have the understanding. All right, the how you, 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 Sherlock, you have to have that sound doctrine. All right, that sound doctrine is gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna have you reserved, man. And that's the principal thing because you know. What it says, Ecclesiastes, Shulak like Ecclesiastes. Let me go to it. This is Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, 
verse verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, the principal thing. It says, fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Alright, so the whole duty of man, not the woman, not the children, but the man. Alright, so with all that getting, get understanding, man. Alright, lean not unto thy own under, under, own under understanding. Alright, hear, hear, hear the whole conclusion, because... The Mosai Yahweh said, keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. You know, and also to teach. You know, it's if you got testicles, you gotta you gotta testify, man. So if you're a man, you got testicles, you gotta testify. Alright? Do the works of an evangelist. Alright. But verse 14 it says, For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be whether it be good or whether it be evil. Alright? So everything that 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 that, uh, that Everything that a man would do in, in his life, all right, whether it be good or whether it be bad, it's gonna it's gonna be judged according to his work, all right. So you know, if you have this knowledge, understanding, and this wisdom, it's best that you you know show your fruits, so you show your show your faith in your fruits in your in your works, you know, continually because it's gonna be judged, all right. So let me go to. Let me go to Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Alright, so with that being said, man, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy time. We, come in, we are in Jacob's trouble, and we are in the midst of famine. And it's soon to be, it's going to be a, a famine of the word, too. So, we got to have this stability, man, to to conquer these times to come, man. Because it's, it's going to be, it's going to be trying, it's going to be trying for everyone, man. Because with this famine, with this famine of the food, it's going to, it's going to be a, a, a real, a real uh, true breaker, man. It's going to see, you know, we're going to see who going to really, Shalaka, we're going to see who who's really, you know, dedicated and who 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 who's fearful of the Lord, man. Because a lot of people, a lot of people ain't gonna be able to uh to handle handle that family, man. You know. But if you have these words of, of truth, if you have the understanding of the Most High, then you will have that sound mind, and then also. You know, you'll know in the scriptures that it says that, in famine he shall he shall. Let me go ahead and get that scripture. All right, this is Psalms chapter 37, verse 19. Like I was going to tell, um, you know, with the knowledge and wisdom and understanding, you know, it'll be, it's going to be the stability of our times, all right? And then also, you know, with that being said, you know, I was saying that, you know, if you have that knowledge and wisdom and understanding also, that when when you, when it, when it, when it, so like it went in the famine, all right, and there, and there's no nothing to eat, you know. And you having that fear of the Lord, it said that He's gonna save thee from that, right? So this is Psalms chapter thirty-seven, verse nineteen. It says, "They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke. Shall they consume?" So, but the, but the point is nineteen, all right. It says they shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. All right. So in in the time of, of, of famine, we say he said hey, we're gonna be satisfied. All right, we're gonna be saved, man. All right. So that was the point I was making with that. Let me go to my next scripture. This is gonna be. Uh, Gonna do Isaiah. One second, Babaka Shah. All right, I'm gonna end it with this one. This is Amos chapter eight, verse eleven. It says, "Behold, the day is come," said the Lord Yahweh, "that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of, of the Lord." God, so. That's a, that's what we, that's the times we we living in. It says, "Behold, the day has come," said the Lord. Yahweh is speaking. 
Yahweh is saying that the days is the days is come that he will send a famine in the land. Alright. So we are in the midst of famine right now, alright, with the food shortages, the meat the meat being cut down, uh the the, the meat production being cut down. And with that meat production being cut down, you also have multiple uh, herbs that's not being produced to to have the meat in the right stability also. So you, you're you having the meat shortages, and you have everything that's, everything else that's with food that's been followed by the, the, the meat, meat food shortages also, all right? So we, we coming into a time where everything is going to be short, and also we coming into a time of in, inflation. Right, food is gonna go. Food prices is gonna skyrocket. All right, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to keep food in your homes, and it's gonna be keep, it's gonna be hard to keep food in your body because your body's consuming food so quick, it dies away. You know, it, it goes away so quick. You know, but the words of truth. If you, if you feed your soul, if you get that knowledge, and un, wisdom, and understanding, feed your souls with this truth, man. You sure you, you won't you won't hunger anymore, man. You know, same with the water. If you take if you take a cup of his water, his everlasting water, all right? Those living waters, man, you you won't thirst anymore, man. So it's best that you get this wisdom and knowledge and understanding why it's not why why it's near. Alright, because like the scripture says, seek me early while while I'm found. Because if you don't seek him early, alright, when that time comes, when that famine comes, where when when uh when those words are few and there, there's no councilmen, those no brothers, no no prophets on the highways and byways, you know, prophesizing and giving warning to the people, all right, when that grace period is up, all right, it's 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 not gonna it's gonna be hard to repent, man. It's gonna be hard to seek the words of truth, man, because it's it's gonna be that famine. It, like, like the scripture says right here. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of the, of the Lord. All right, and it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and they shall not find it. All right, and then like like um, Hosea four and six says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. So it says you're gonna be destroyed for lack of knowledge. So, like it says in, in Proverbs four, it says, "With all thy getting, get understanding, man. You know, seek him early." And with that being said, I want to take call. How are you, lie you? How about you, Shmuel Shah? Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Shalom to the Akim that's pushing the truth again, fully in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. All right, and the Akim that's, that's doing their thing, man. All right. Keep pushing. We almost out of there. All right. Shalom.